Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the comfort of my backyard. I want to thank all my supporters this year, my new and my old. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 25th through December 31st. This is for the sign of Cancer. It may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading, okay? This is a general reading for a large audience. So bits and pieces may resonate, none may resonate, or it all may resonate, okay? If during this reading, I have to give you a warning, uh, my dog may bark and she can sound pretty scary, so beware you have your headphones on. <laughs> the uh, plow guy is coming. There's only one, one guy I meet at the driveway and it ain't him. So, you know, I'm going to zoom this in, I'm going to zoom it in, but then we're going to get right into it. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so, there's lack of uh, happiness here, okay, somewhere, there's lack of happiness, uh, Within probably, you know, we have this Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups is discontent, okay? Discontent within a relationship. Somebody might be, you know, thinking about moving or they may have moved. This is moving, moving out, you know. This is a, in regards to a relationship, it's a Ten of Pentacles. It's reversed. This is like moving out of a home, changing your home. Somebody could be moving in. Somebody could be moving out. Um, and somebody, you know, I'm not sure who this is for, but it looks like somebody could be considering leaving a situation and it could be a relationship. Okay. Somebody's ready for a change. Maybe the, the other person that you're with hasn't been reciprocating or, you know, maybe they've got another partner. I'm not sure something is going on. I do see a fresh start is on the horizon. Like many of you are starting over, starting a new journey, starting a new path. And you know, it's kind of scary. It can be a little risky, but it looks like you're headed in the right direction. Just takes confidence, takes confidence and strength. Oh, somebody might be heading towards a Taurus, uh, Virgo or Capricorn. I mean, that's what that's a, that's what that looks like. Like we have a we have an earth sign here. Um, that could lead to a commitment of some sort, you know, or I don't know what, you know, somebody, you, some of, somebody could be headed towards an earth sign, could be a, a Leo as well, but I, this, you know, this is a prominent earth sign. I do feel like, um, you know, change is on the horizon and somebody is considering moving, moving physically. You know, I don't know who this is, who that is that's watching this, but I think somebody is contemplating moving away from a situation that no longer serves them. Perhaps the, the love is not there anymore. I'm not sure. I think somebody has been through a lot that is watching this and they're thinking about, 
you know, ending something. I see closure here. Closure is needed. Somebody is deciding that they want to go down a different path. I feel like something has been weighing very heavily. Um, there's been like a huge weight, you know, that just needs to be lifted. It's, it's time to let this go, okay, with these two cards. It's time to let something go, you know, and you may be single for a little while, you know. You may be on the road to uh, singlehood, you know, living very gratefully on your own, just providing for yourself, being happy about it, doing everything your way, no trouble, no strife, you know, um, no more juggling the bullshit, no more playing games, I'm done, I just want to be by myself, um, I don't want to be stuck in this situation, this is you by the way, I just wanted to see what it was. Okay, if it was the king or the queen, but this is you, man or woman, and it is the king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's you in this reading. And I feel like many of you are being withdrawn, feeling withdrawn, like you just don't, you might not want to communicate at this time. You might not want to be around people. You may be having an overwhelming amount of emotions, like, wow, these big changes are happening, and it can be a little overwhelming. Um, I feel like uh, you're contemplating a move if you have not moved already. And I know I'm repeating myself, but it's pretty prominent. I see a move going on, you know, moving house. Either you're, somebody's moving out or somebody is moving in. And, you know, I'm being urged to tell you not to look back with this Eight of Cups. This is like a breakup card, walking away, leaving something behind and not going back. Just leaving it behind because it doesn't serve you. I don't need your stuff. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Goodbye. Okay? You know, and it takes strength to do that. This is the strength card. So that's why, you know, this is signifies that it takes strength to walk away from something, especially if there's materialistic aspects that you're leaving behind. You know, you have to leave that behind, and that kind of sucks sometimes, but when you have to follow your heart, you know, I feel like you have a bright future ahead of you. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or Earth sign that could lead to a commitment. I'm going to start shuffling. But you have to take a risk. You have to take a risk to unite. Okay? You have to take a risk. You have to act on your hunches and you have to have faith. Faith in the future. Okay? Change is needed, and perhaps you guys are making this change because there was a lack of love. I mean, it looks like the love within a relationship has just, like, dissipated, okay? It's not where it used to be. And you've, gro you've grown weary, you know? You have a lot of doubts that this is, was going to work out, so it was time to move on. I see that many of you are moving on, you know? And it's, and it's overly, it causes a lot of overwhelming emotions because it hurts to move on. Especially if you've been attached to somebody for a long time. Yeah, you see these nines? Nine, nine, nine. Now we have three nines and they're all right together. When you see nine, nine, nine anywhere, I mean, you know that I'm into numerology. I know about these things. Um, closure. Closure. It's time to close a door. When you see three nines anywhere, whether it's on the dial, you know, wherever, when you see three nines, it's time for closure. It's a sign to move on when you see three nines. And we have three nines here. It's right next to you. It's time to move on from something that you don't need to carry around anymore, that you don't need to be in. It's just causing you stress, okay? It's time to let go with that hangman and this right here with these both together it is time to let go and you know that it is it's just taking the step taking that step that sucks mm -mm. there you are yeah you have to move forward it's time to move forward but you have this fear you know you have to master your emotions put yourself in the driver's seat and move on right now you're stuck in a situation with somebody who is probably pretty spiteful vindictive um, mouthy, you know, and it feels like they're killing you. I mean, like you're, like you are just, it's like the stress that they are bringing you is huge. Okay. They're, it's like they, they're, they're literally, it's like 
you need a rest. You need to recuperate from this person. This person has been bringing you down big time, big time. And I feel like, I feel like you're opening your eyes. You're having this awakening that there's more. There's somebody else. There's something else. You know, there's got to be more to life than this, you know. I'm looking for true love, and this isn't it. It feels like you are involved in a situation where this person isn't being very nice, okay? They're not, and it's really dulling your shine, you know. It's really putting you down, and you're stuck here. And it's ca make it causing you to lose sleep at night, you know. It's causing you a lot of anxiety, depression, stress, you know. And you're feeling overwhelmed with this shit. You may be trying to escape from it. It could be with alcohol or even, you know, I don't know. But it feels like this person that you are involved in is really... Um, aggressive and I really believe that you need to speak up you need to speak your truth you need to do the right thing for you you need to replace your fear with faith that you know what's meant to be is meant to be and what isn't meant to be what isn't meant to be you know we have many partners or soulmates within a lifetime and people come into your life for a season in many cases you know sometimes they come in forever but not always and I just have to, <clears throat> this is the death of a situation, okay? I feel like if it is, has, if it has ended, you know, you should be, you should be starting to come back up now. If it hasn't ended, you know, it's a time of rest. It's a time of recuperation. It's time to bring happiness back to your life because I feel like you've reached a point where you feel dead inside, you know, you're in, you're in a situation where there's no more growth. It's over. And now it's there's no place to go but up. But the fact of the matter is, is you have to take the lead. You have to do what you need to do. And don't expect the other person to do it. You have to do it. You have to look at this situation from a positive perspective as if, you know, this didn't work out. There's something else. I have to go because I see moving. I see moving on big time, big time, big time, big time. We have a lot of moving cards here, you know, and that takes strength. That's why we have this strength card. We also have this judgment card, which is karma. So I feel like you guys have been involved in a karmic situation, but I feel like the debt has been paid. And now it's time for your epiphany. It's time for your wake up call. It's time for you to release the past. And you know, this is kind of like a nine, even though it's it's the 20 card, because the next card in the deck is the world card. It's the last card in the deck, nines, are right before a 10. So the world card's a completion and 10s are a completion. So this is kind of like a nine. All right, so I wanna tell you that closure is needed. It is time to release the past. And I think a secret is about to be revealed where that you're keeping, because that's you. I believe you're keeping a secret or the other person, all right? You're keeping, somebody is keeping a secret that's about to be revealed that changes everything, okay? A shake-up is on the horizon that is absolutely a blessing in disguise. It's going to bring you closer to your purpose, okay? This is the shake-up, the tower card. This is the ultimate shake-up. When this card comes out in a reading, it means that something needs to end. And even though you haven't been taking the steps, the universe knows that it needs to end. So they're going to help you take the steps to end it. Okay, so this is a blessing in disguise that comes in as a shock, comes in with a bang. Okay, it comes in, it shakes up your life, and it brings in a blessing. But, you know, the shakeup isn't pretty at the moment, but it brings in something better. Okay. Um, you know, there could be a new start. A new start on the horizon with this earth sign that leads to a commitment in the future you know in the future a commitment into the in the future this person is very uh, caring motherly uh, genuine uh, practical responsible Stubborn. 
but I think it's definitely time to let go. That hangman, the hangman is here, okay, right here. Right now you're in limbo and you're being called to close the door with the nines right next to limbo and to let go of something that no longer serves you because this is letting go. We have some big completions here. We do. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Completion, completion, completion. Cycle, a cycle in your life is ending. Okay? It is. With the three, with the three tens. With the not, three nines. You have three nines and three tens. Okay? Completion, completion, completion. You are close to ending something that no longer serves you, which is going to bring you in something much better. A blessing in disguise. Oh my gosh, this makes sense. I believe that you guys are connecting with or going to be connecting with somebody that, you know, is your soulmate. I feel it. I don't know if you feel it, but I feel it. I think you feel it too. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. The person that you think about that makes you smile that you're watching is probably your soulmate calling in your soulmate that's what's going on here whether you're with the wrong person or not if you are dreaming about happily ever after the universe okay is taking action to bring you your soulmate okay so I feel like you just need to close this door because the nines and the tens, that's completion and closure. Once you close this door, your soulmate is going to come, your real soulmate. Oh my God, I knew it, I knew it, I did, I did. Yes, this is your soulmate. I'm telling you what, and this is going right here. Okay, so I believe it's, I don't know, you tell me what you think. Okay, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. Many of you are moving towards a soulmate in the future, because this is the future, in the future. But you have to complete something first with the nines and the tens, the three nines and the three tens. Closure is needed, and you need to complete a cycle. You need to speak your truth. You need to do the right thing for you. And you need to close a door that no longer serves you. You need to release something first. Seriously, I mean, I can't make this shit up. And then I see a brand new start. This is the first card in the deck. This is when the fool, or you, or anybody who gets this card starts a brand new journey brand new brand spanking new it's connected to this earth sign i have to show you what's on the bottom of this deck express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture express your love if you're thinking about somebody let them know tell them just do it. Take the risk. They could be your soulmate. I see love in the future. A lot of it. Love, future. All you have to do is shed the past. This is letting go of the past. Okay? To get there. To get to this soulmate. So anyway, Cancer... This is for you. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And if you'd like to contact me, my email is below. Um, talk to you later.